So I made a previous video where I talked about how I had tested 17 different antennas and I couldn't come to the conclusion on which was the best antenna because what worked in one location didn't always perform that well in another. And it wasn't about just picking the right antenna for the right frequency. Sometimes it had to do with the terrain you were operating in. For example, if you're surrounded by a lot of mountains like this area here, you had a lot of reflected signals and some antennas would uh, not perform as well because of that. Well, in this video, I just thought I'd talk about some of the antennas I most commonly use when I'm out doing antennas for people. Uh, I think one of my favorite antennas is the Weingard. It's the HD7694P. It's not that big of an antenna, but it performs quite well. And it's pretty good in, in the windstorms. I don't know what, what wind speed it'll handle, but it looks like it can handle 100 mile an hour winds. Anyway, the other one that I use quite a bit, it's the Channel Masters Advantage 45. Now, both of these antennas I just mentioned are UHF, VHF antennas. And this Channel Masters Advantage 45 does better on Channel 5 than the Weingard does. And so for that reason, a lot of times I'll have to go with the Channel Masters over the Weingard. Now, because I'm out in a location here where almost everything is on UHF, I was hoping I could do a little better with these UHF antennas. And much to my surprise, in this location, the Weingard antenna performed the best. Uh, for those that are curious about this antenna, by the way, this is just something a friend told me about. <clears throat> I don't know the model or the manufacturer of it, but here's the uh, model number on it here. It does quite well in the Grants Pass area. And this one, it does okay on the UHF band, but I, I wasn't that impressed with it. I, I noticed that the other one I had that was half the size uh, seemed to be almost just as good. And out here, I was a little bit disappointed that I thought it would perform a little bit better. That's also a, a Channel Masters antenna over here, not over here. This, I forget who makes that. Now, believe it or not, in the Grants Pass area, I'm able to get away with just a loop like this. I, I discovered this not that long ago, and uh, sometimes all you need to do is put one of these on the outside of your house if you're in the right location. And I usually have a different type of a ballon on it. This one isn't really made for outdoor use. I usually use an, a regular antenna ballon. And, uh, it does pretty well. Anyway, I just thought I'd make a quick video about that. I'm out here in a beautiful part of Southern Oregon again. This is actually Merlin, Oregon. And as you can see, I'm surrounded by trees and mountains. And uh, well, we've got a lot of fires uh, not too far from here. So um, we're expecting some rain today or by this evening. And maybe it'll finally put those fires out. But you can see, uh, uh, oftentimes it's uh, challenging terrain to put an, an antenna up in an area like this and so what I generally try to do like with this antenna up here let's see I generally try to get as far back from the trees as I can that's why I have the antenna on the back side of the house here and uh, yeah the trees aren't necessarily a problem although I have to say when I looked at my signal meter because of the way the winds kicking up here you could see the signal meter kind of bouncing around every which way anyway that's about it as always, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe.